well-dressed Todd Stevens. He's on your right with a Delirium deck, green, black, and then you got Devin Kepke, who's playing Bant Company. So talking to Nick Miller, we knew we were going to see a lot of Bant Company here this weekend. That's not much of a surprise. Delirium, however, might be a little bit more of a surprise, but if you know Todd Stevens, he likes to brew. Yes. So this is a, a substantially different build. Uh, this is essentially a different build than we saw from Corey McDuffie in round one. He is playing with Gnarlwood Dryad, which was something we did not see in McDuffie's list. He's playing two copies of Mindwrack Demon and a full playset of Ruinous Pass to go around with Grasp of Darkness. So, slightly different removal sweep, but still doing the Den Protector, Death Mist Raptor, Grim Flare sort of deal. Here's a Tragic Arrogance. Now, you see Avacyn is upside down. The reason for that is because Liliana targeted it. So now, Avacyn's going to transform going to get real angry and going to finish off Liliana. And now we're going to head Todd Stevens' way. Now also then that dry has got to die as well. So Todd will draw in just a moment. Picked up a dead weight, aptly named. Looks like it's time to fire up the Quagmires, give some beatdowns here. Tough race here for Stevens to win, though. Yep. Yeah, it is. Kepke also with a handful of cards to Stevens just having a dead weight. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Stevens really needed that Liliana. Got to get some cards back. He also did have Ishkana there when we tuned in, but that died to a tragic arrogance. So here comes Avacyn over for six. Stevens will fall down to 17. The follow-up is Lamhold Pacifist. And Kepke with the four mana available to cast a collected company or an urgentized command. So over to Todd Stevens will go. This is a concern that I have about Greenblatt Delirium. We talked a lot about McDuffie's matchup against uh, the Eldrazi deck, how that's not good, he gets overpowered. In the matchups where that's not going to happen, a lot of these decks have access to Tragic Arrogance that can undo a lot of the little two-for-ones you pick up over the course of the game. A Ruinous Path. Try to take care of Avacid. But Spellcaller took care of that. Now Deadweight comes down to slow down the Spellcaller a little bit. So we head back over to Devin Kepke, who's drawn a copy of Reflector Mage. Also has another copy of Avacyn in hand. He is going to come across here for nine. Of course, Lambhold Pacifist can attack because he does have a creature that has more than four power. Now there is a Duskwatch Recruiter. Pass the turn back. Steven's going to draw. Might be his last card that he draws for the match being overpowered right now by Bank Company. It's a hissing quagmire. He'll pass the turn back. We're going to go back Kepke's way. Here's a Spell Queller on the end step, and that is going to do it. Devin Kepke's going to win this match over Todd Stevens. Two games to one. Bank Company is going to take care of Green Black Delirium, and unfortunately for our Delirium players thus far, haven't really got to see what the payoffs for the decks are just yet. You know, we've seen Ishkana a little bit, but we